Marco Colbert, Speed of Recovery Finish Network. All right, so you guys remember this Marauder. We painted this thing about a year ago. Came out amazing. However, guy was in an accident. Whole side got side swiped. We got two replacement doors. Um, quarter panel was banged up a little bit, so we did some body work on that. Rear bumper was banged up a little bit. We did a little bit of body work on that. The rest of the bumper was in extremely good shape. So we decided to, we're going to just go ahead and cut a blend in so it burn it in. Everything should look good if everything sprays out nice. All right, so as I said, guys, I painted the car about a year ago. You guys already saw the results. Not really concerned about that. What I'm concerned about is this. Is I've had some people complain, whether it's a Speedo Coat brand, whether it's another brand of single stage out there, say, hey, Marco, I can't really get my single stage to lay out you know, perfect, flat, like I want it to. Now, at the end of the day, this really all boils down to user error. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys some little tips and tricks that I do to make sure my single stage lays out butter smooth and butter flat just like when we painted this car a year ago okay so we're mixed up the paint mix is three to one very easy to do with a basic measuring cup takes no brain to do it um after you put your paint in you put in your activator and you're pretty much ready to rock however single stage what makes it better than what it is in the can is what you add to it so on you know decent hot days or even medium hot days 70 degrees 60 degrees i like to add slow and or extra slow reducer what this will do is it will help the paint self level and what i call flow out which creates a flat flat finish also adding a little bit of base coat activator increased durability and adhesion in your paint job all right, so now down to the application. So first off, we're applying it out of a 1.3 tip gun, spraying at between around, I think I had the gun set at around 22 to 24 PSI. Now, as far as application goes, um, I typically always go medium wet with this product, and I let the paint flow out on its own. Some paints you wanna go super wet, and you kinda gotta force the paint to flow out through application. This paint is not one of those paints. You put it on medium wet, get full medium wet, co full covering coats, and it pretty much does all the rest of the work for you. As you guys can see, this paint is just effortlessly laying down first coat looking like glass. Um, and that is through our spraying techniques, through our bench mixing techniques. Check in the paint for the second coat. You wanna make sure the paint on the paper or tape um, is pulling on your gloves. Make sure it's really, really tacky. That's how you know it's ready for a second coat. Second coat, same thing. Another medium wet coat, maybe slightly, slightly wetter than the first coat, but not full wet um, with this product. Lay it on medium wet. Let the paint level out on its own. Let it do the work for you. That is what this product is designed to do. Now, moving along to the blending portion on the back bumper, we got the uh, SMR410A. Now, one thing you guys got to notice is I am very crisp and clear with my blends, and I like to make a really sharp edge in my paint line before I blend. Then, spring on the blending solution, and as you guys can see, man, does that look nice. Everything else came out really, really good with the repairs. The paint came out almost flawless. We only got a couple dust nibs. The blend came out really nice. Everything came out really, really smooth. If you guys are looking for the best, most affordable auto body products in the world, head on over to www.speedocoat.com. They have everything you need to get your projects done. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.